This program was made possible by a grant from the Healthcare Initiative Foundation. The following is one in a series of nursing simulation scenarios created to educate nursing students and refresh new practicing nurses about situations they could encounter in practice in a simulated context. Complete information about this scenario from setup to debriefing questions can be found at www.montgomerycollege.edu slash nursing simulations. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Mrs. O, Mrs. Oh. O, help, I need some help oh. in here. Mrs. O, oh. Oh. Mrs. O, oh. Mrs. O, are you okay? Oh. I don't know. Help. Oh. oh my goodness, are you okay? Oh. Does anything oh. hurt? Oh my head. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Can we get oh. you up? Uh, uh, ow. Oh. 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 What do you want us to do? Uh, oh. I, don't, I don't remember what we're uh. supposed to do. I just finished my preceptorship. Uh, 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 should, uh, should I call 911? Let's, uh. let's, let's try to get her back in the bed. Uh. Uh. Can you get a crash car? Uh. Uh. I, I don't uh. remember. Uh. Oh. Oh, my head. Okay. Watch oh, it, this. Looks like some oh. urine. Oh, oh no. Oh. She can't come back. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. What, what happened? I, oh. I, can't, I was running by and I saw you here. I heard, oh. I heard a crash. Looks like you need some help in here. Yes, oh. we do. She fell and she's really oh. hurt. Remember the fall protocol? Oh. No, I don't oh. know that. Me neither. All right. Have we assessed the patient yet? No. Okay. Mm. Can you take the vital signs, please? Okay. Okay. Mm. And you can assess the patient for injuries. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, Ms. O'Donnell? Miss mm. O'Donnell? Yes. I'm Kathy. I'm a nursing student here. Can you roll over just a little bit um, toward me, toward the sound? Okay. Great. Mm. Sounds like you're oh. in pain. Oh, yes. Oh. Where are you feeling pain? Oh, my head hurts. Your head? Oh, yes. Any place else? Uh, um, my, my arm. My arm. Oh, yeah, I can see. Um, okay, for your head. Um, on a scale mm. of 1 to 10, 1 is the least amount of pain you've ever had, and 10 is the most, mm. how would you rate it? 8. An 8, okay. Now for your arm, same scale, 1 is the least, 10 is the most, how would you rate that? Uh, um, 6. A 6, all right. I need you to roll over just a little bit more for me, mm. please. And can you uh -huh. open your eyes? Mm. Take a look at me. Can you see me? Uh-huh. Okay, look straight ahead now. Okay. I'm going to flash a little light in your eyes, all right? Okay. Just want to see how your pupils react to that. It's bright. All righty. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, it's Christine. Mm. Mrs. O'Donnell, I'm going to check your blood pressure. Okay. Mm. Dizzy. And while she's doing that, remember we use splat when someone falls. Um, I don't know that. Right. I don't know that either. Okay. The first thing is symptoms. Has she had prior falls? Um, she hasn't fallen since she's been hospitalized, but she had a fall at home. Okay, let's find out what happened this time. Mrs. O? Mm -hmm. um, tell us what was going on. What happened? What were you doing when you fell? I had to go to the bathroom again and again and and I got real dizzy and I think I lost my balance and and then I grabbed at that table and it rolled and then I grabbed at that commode thing and and it, it just, just went over and then I'm so dizzy and I think I just banged my head. Um, Her vitals are 130 over 70, heart rate's 96, Respiratory rate's 22, and her pulse ox is 96% on room air. Okay. Well, that's that must not much difference from her baseline. Okay. Um, mm. Mm. Okay. We're going to get you up, okay? Can you two please uh, 
get her cleaned up sure. and get her in a bed, right. and uh, I'll call the doctor. Let me okay. get this out the way first. Okay. okay. We're going to pick you up. So if you feel any other pain, make sure you let us know. Okay. 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 Just put this mm. chucks over it. Okay. Okay, Mrs. O, you're going to roll back a little bit and try to sit up. Okay. Let me come on that side. I can help her out on that okay. side. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Ready? One, three. Watch One, your neck. Two, three. There you That's go. right. Oh. Very good. Okay. Oh, wow. Just, just mm. rest for a moment. Okay. Just rest for a moment. I'll support you in the back. When you're ready to stand up, just let us know. Okay, I guess I'm ready. Okay. <sighs> One, two, three. Okay. Still dizzy. Sit. Mm. Want to hold on to that? Mm -hmm. Yes, Dr. Youngblood. This is Nurse Messam, and I'm calling because Mrs. O'Donnell said she felt dizzy when she was going to the bathroom. She fell on the floor. It's her only fault since she's been hospitalized. She was right next to the bed when she fell. She was trying to walk to the bathroom. It's about five minutes ago when it happened. Well, she says her head hurts, and there's a hematoma on the right side of her, of her forehead. She's alert and oriented times three, and her pupils are equal and reactive. We got her back to bed with no difficulty, and she's moving all her extremities with equal strength. Other than bruising her head and feeling dizzy, she doesn't have any other obvious injury. I think she needs to be placed on fall precautions. And could you please come and see her as soon as possible? Okay, all right, all right, thank you. Mrs. O'Donnell, Dr. Youngblood said he'll be coming to see you in about five minutes. And then we're gonna be placing you on fall precautions. Okay, what are thank fall you. precautions? Well, fall precautions, that's a way to um, prevent patients from falling. And what we're going to do is we're going to check on Mrs. O about every hour just to make sure that, you know, she's okay and make sure she doesn't fall again. So let's go in there and let her know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Ms. O'Donnell? Yes. Hi, Hi. we're back. We're okay. back. And we have something for you. Actually, we have something. We, um, the, the nurse, primary nurse, told you you're going to be put on fall precautions. Yes. And we have some special socks. They're non-skid socks, and basically okay. they have some rubber grippers on the bottom, unlike the socks that you had on earlier. And what we, what these socks are going to do is help you not to slip on the floor. Okay. Okay. So we want to okay. put these on for you right now. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to put these on. Okay. And basically, the other thing we want to do, Miss O. Since we're putting you on fall precautions, we're going to put a sign above your bed so everyone can know when they come in the room that you're on fall prevention. Can you put that above her bed, please? Yeah, like right here? Right there. It's perfect. Okay, so when people come in the room, they will know that you're on fall precautions also. Okay. And then we have a bracelet for you. It's a yellow bracelet. And we're going to keep this on just in case if you go off the unit. And then also when people come in the room and they'll also know that you're on fall precautions also. Okay? Okay. We want to make sure that your phone is close to you so you won't have to go get up and answer the phone. So okay. it's right here. And then we want to make sure your call light is close to you also. Can, can you make sure she has that? Ms. O'Donnell. There you Thank go. you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come and check on you about every hour or a nurse or a nurse, nurse's aide will come in every hour just to make sure you're okay. And if you need anything after we leave, just press that button and someone will come and check on you. 
Okay. All right. You have any questions? No, I'm good. Okay. All Thanks. right. Well, we'll see you in a little while. Okay. Thank okay. you. This program was made possible by a grant from the Healthcare Initiative Foundation. The Healthcare Initiative Foundation is a nonprofit grant making trust governed by an independent volunteer board of trustees. The foundation supports organizations that offer solutions to improve the quality and delivery of healthcare for residents of Montgomery County, Maryland. For more information about the Healthcare Initiative Foundation, visit www.hifmc.org.